Hey guys, this is Turn On Tutorials, part 3 of the RSPS series. Today we're going to be showing you how to edit your shops, your starter equipment, and your item bonuses. First off, open your source and click run. After that, open your client. We already have it open. And then log in with your admin account that we made in part 1. Now look for the shops that you moved in part 2 and open the pure PKing shop. After you see that, go to data, config, shops. You'll see that in the shops config file, it says pure PKing store with shop ID 6. 2 and 2 is nothing, just leave that alone, it always stays the same. If you look back into in game, you'll see that the first item is an Absol Whip. Also, right here, the item ID of Absol Whip is 4151. It is the first item ID, and the next number is the item amount. We're going to change this to 450 and this to 5000. This is just going to show you that if you change this and this, it will show in game also. This works as a pattern item, amount, item, amount. Alright. And if you also change the title, it'll also be different. Turn on tutorials. Alright. I spelled tutorials wrong, but it doesn't matter. Alright. Save that. Go back and compile. After that, just exit out your source and rerun it. Log back in, and you'll see if you go to the same shop that the item has changed to Adamant or 5000. After that, you've just changed your first item ID and amount of your shop. You can rechange any item in here or even add more if you want to. And also, the title has changed. So now you just edit your shops. Now we're going to edit the player equipment of a starter player. Go to player assist and then go to player assist and dot java. Open that up and do control find and then type in starter. You'll see this public void add starter. This is the starting equipment each new player will start with. This is 450, the item ID and the amount of one. This is adamant or and if you look, we'll make a new player called Fluffy. Enter world, and Fluffy will have Adamant Ore as its first item. It goes in order, and just change that to whatever you want. We're going to use an absolute 4151 with the amount of 3. Down here, it will say, welcome to whatever source you have. Just change that. We're going to use turn on exclamation and you're just going to exit and save. We're going to quickly show you what it does and how it works. Exit out run and wait for the compiler to be done. After it looks like that, just click rerun and exit out the compiler. Once the source is running, log back with a new account called Fluffy, maybe had a few numbers, all right? And the new account will have 3 whips and as you see that it has 3 whips as we changed it in, in the folder in the file. Alright, now log back out and now we're going to change the item ID. Log back in with your admin account. And we're going to change the item bonuses of any item. So we're going to go to the equipment stats button and we're going to check that the rune scimitar has 80 strength. Just wield nothing else but the item you want to change. The bonus is 80 strength. So you're going to go to data config item. Control find rune underscore skim. You'll see that the item ID is 1333. This is where you could find the item IDs of any item in your server. Always use underscore instead of spaces. Scroll over a little bit until you see 80. That's the strength bonus, and this will be this is the slash. We're gonna change the strength bonus to 150. Exit, save. Compile and restart again. Once you restart, you'll see that the item bonus has changed to 150. So far, you've, you've edited your shops, your item bonuses, and your player equipment when you just start your server. That was part three of the series. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you need help, just send us a PM or add our MSN. It'll be in the information below. There's some more info below if you just check. 
um, where we add it, we'll be adding more series soon. And thanks for watching, and see ya.